size bigger than the other, pretty much. So I, it'll, it'll tell me just something's heavier than if the something's other. heavier than another, or if it's not heavier, then it must be lighter. Lighter. Okay, if it's not heavier or lighter, it must be equal. The same, equal, balanced. Yeah. So, could someone come up here and, uh, well, let's clarify some things. So I got this container here, and I have these. Okay. So let's talk about what this represents. What do you, what do you get? Think this probably represents Clint. It's a lid of something. It's not a lid. It's a certain weight. It's just like a little coin or something, but it represents something mathematically. Cheese. A certain weight. Yeah, but then the you know we could measure that weight in any amount that we want. Can it be cheese? It might be. A gram? I don't know how heavy it is. But it mathematically, it represents some a number. Either. Yeah, which number do you think it represents? Along with all of its buddies, you can put them all together. Like, what number do you suppose that is? Five. Four. 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 It's kind of far away. It's An ounce. Four. Four. Oh. Four, so this is? One. One out of four. One fourth. One. One. Well, okay. Four we'll say that each of them is, is the number one. Okay? So each of them is the number one. and. How many is this worth? Five. Five, two, six. Well, it's, in, it's a container. It could be empty. It could have something in it. How many do you think this is? Three. X. Just X. taking guesses, right? X. It's two. X. To be as specific as possible, we can say X. Uh, X yeah. I said Y. Doesn't make a difference, right? Okay, so there it is. Let's call it Y. Now, can someone come up here, first hand up, Kyle? And use these tools at your disposal and tell me how many, without opening that, of course, how many that's worth. Everybody see that happen? Or yeah. Oh. So, so I'll put anybody watching the video right now, I'll put what Kyle just did. He just put the container this side that has a mystery number of uh, tokens in it and on this side he placed one two three and when he put the fourth one what happened balanced. it balanced it was level so this must be worth four 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 so we open this up we should find four three Oh, but the weight in the bottle makes one. Right. Ooh. So the container is one, and these are all one. Okay, that's how this works. And that's how scale works. If it's level, if this guy is pointing straight down, then both sides are the same as each other. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna put forth a little mystery. come up and tell us what's on the scales, Aiden, and just tell us your observations. figure out is how much is the container worth? There's three in the container and the container is one. So let's just concern ourselves with like how many would have to be 
be over here to balance it out. Not uh, you don't have to break it down. How many are in it and how many containers there are. Um, seven. Okay. Seven. That's all I'm right. So now what I want you to do though, we're starting with a basic idea. All right. Um, come up here, someone, and if you think it's that this is the same as four, then show us. But the rule is you're not allowed to clear it off and then just do like Kyle did earlier, just put that there and then just keep dropping until you figure out how much it's worth. Right? You just kind of have to manipulate what's already there. Okay? So who's up for the challenge? Wait, so I don't know if I should restate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know if I should restate that. Yeah. I want you to come up here and you can put stuff on, you can take stuff off, okay? The rule is you can't, though, do something like too crazy, like take everything off, take the one container, put it here, and like Kyle did, just drop them until it's even, okay? You need to kind of work with what's already here. What are you trying to do? We're going to go with Ethan. Ethan has been willing to work the whole time. So Ethan's coming up. He's going to show us how to show whether, well, is it four or is it not? You could, you could take some away, you could put some on there. So, let's all pay attention. Ethan is, well, I guess I should, uh, when I said pay attention, I didn't mean giggle and laugh to each other. That was Clint's voice. He's taking one. Okay, he took one from there, one from here. And it went back and took one from here, wow. there. You're not erasing them. And I know that. <laughs> and I was taking one from this side again, and one from this side. And there's four over here, and one in the container, and it's even. Oh, wait. <coughs> Again, there were, we miscounted, there were actually four here. So, so now why don't you just do what you did, just do it all at once rather than one at a time. <coughs> this be equivalent to? Three. Three. Like equivalent to three. Let's find out. That means there's two in here. Can we wait? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, can we wait my phone? No. There's two. And there, one in the container, that's three. tokens inside were worth a total of three. 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 Okay. Can we write an equation for what we started with? Can we write an equation that represents how this whole thing started? Yes. yes. I know. Okay. 
So we're going to use math symbols, symbols like plus, minus, equals, one, two, three, all these kinds of symbols. I got this one. Oh, get in. X plus four. Same turn this way. Just like that. Tyler? Um, you could do X plus four. I have that here. <laughs> nah, what I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, I'm thinking of it. X plus four. Uh, oh. Minus seven. Minus seven? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that conveys with this balance. Oh, no. Seven minus four. Wait, no. Seven minus four. Shh. I'm still answering. No, we're not, I'm not looking for x. I'm looking for an equation that represents what we have here. Yes, I know. Break here. Call me. Break it. We have it already. Okay. No, Mr. Stewart, I got a good explanation. Because you would think. I'm not asking you to figure out what x is worth. I, know. I am only asking for what I already have. There's nothing that's more right than this. All right, you can do x. Sit down. <laughs> you can do x plus Stop. Right. Okay? We have an unknown amount plus 4 is equal to 7. The more we try to chime in when I'm trying to keep us on task, the more we're going to confuse ourselves and others. So let's just stay with this. Hey, What's your question? All right, so if you did x plus 4 minus 7, what does that work? You can take 4 minus 7 equals 3. And 4 minus 7 equals negative 3. I'm not trying to figure out what x is yet. I just want an equation that represents what you see in this picture. Okay. What we see in this picture is one side has question mark, or x, and four more. Okay. And this side has seven, and it's balanced, so they must be equal. Okay. So the importance of this is all about this guy right here. In years past, well, what happens pretty much with any subject is you learn it in a way that you can, you know, use the skills, okay? But sometimes the little details and the nuances get lost because they're just trying to learn it. And then later we go back and we learn it in more detail. So we're learning this in more detail. We're learning about this symbol in more detail, okay? Just like you might learn to drive kind of rough, but you get it done, right? You drive, and you, you get going down the road, you get to where you need to be. But after some experience, you learn to, you know, some subtleties about driving, you get a little better, right? You maybe learn to drive a stick and that kind of stuff. Right? So this is what we're doing. We're learning more about this equal sign than probably we have known before. We're gonna think about it differently. And you gotta, you gotta think, there's some company out there Maybe they're called uh, KB Algebra Balance Cuisinaire Patent Pending. I don't know. I don't know what they're called exactly, but they're certainly not called Talk While Your Teacher is Trying to Teach You. <laughs> I think it is, though. It's That's not. a good name. Thanks. I'm going to get fired. Okay. So, a company out there yeah. somewhere. I want to get Who needs a break? You can walk out in the hallway. Seems like somebody does. Let's try and not sound like someone needs a break. Okay, so there's a company out there. They took all the time and the effort and money to create molds and pour plastic to make this thing right here. The whole goal of this thing is to help you understand this symbol right here. Okay? And why we treat it with such reverence as we will. Uh, So, in years past, you might have been in this kind of a situation, 3 plus 5, right? There it is. You're supposed to put them together, right, and get 8. And you would say equals 8, and that's true, right? But after so many years of thinking of an equal sign like that, you start to equate equals with 
Uh, I did some math. Like, here's the next step. And it kind of works, but it also, thinking of it that way, leads to a lot of misuse. Let me show you what a, what, like a test might look like or some homework might look like. Okay, Someone might take 3 plus 5 and get 8. And for whatever reason, the, the next step is to subtract 4. So they get 4. And for some reason after that, the, the next step is to multiply by 3. So they multiply by 3, they get 12. Okay. So what this person has done is they, they've understood this equal sign to mean the next step has been taken. I have done the next step, and the next step, and the next step, and I've moved on. But when you look back at it, is this equal sign true anymore? No. no. Why not? Because you moved on from that, and you have more equal signs than that. So, I mean, if we were to believe this equal sign, what would we be saying is equal? Um, the 5 plus 5, that's it. 5 plus 5? This is, sorry, three. this should look like a 3, not a 5. 3 oh. plus 5 equals 8. Okay, 3 is equal to 8 minus 4. 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 minus 4. Is 3 plus 5 equal to 8 minus 4? No. No. no, it's not. It's 8 minus 4 equal to 4 times 3. No. 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 Is 4 times 3 equal to 12? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we didn't go on to the next step. Yeah. This happens to be true, but this person clearly does not understand what this symbol means right here. Okay. It does not. No. It does not mean the problem is done. This person thinks that it means the problem is done. It does not what this symbol means. What does this symbol mean? It's equal, it's equal to, right? And that is making a false claim here, right? 3 plus 5 is not equal to 8 minus 4, but that's what this is saying. It's saying that they're equal to each other. This person is treating the equal sign like a symbol that means I took the next step, and when they would write the last one, then I, the problem is done. This equal sign does not mean I've done some math, and here's the result. The equal sign means this side and this side are balanced. Just like this balance right here. Okay? And what happens, let's say we have this situation again. What happens when I, when I take this guy off of this side? It's not balanced. It's not true. Not true to the equal sign. Well, this must be a cheating. sticky balance, right? Because what would happen if I took one off of this side in real life? It would be the equal. It would be what would happen to the scale? It would go, go down. Which side would it go down? The no, side that you took one off of. Does it go down? No. No, yes, it would. No. No, it would go up, yeah. It would go up. No, the other side would go down. So this would go up while this goes down. Yeah. And we'd see it's not balanced. Okay? That's how I want you to, like, we're not going to pull out a balance or even a picture of a balance every time we're going to solve an equation, right? But I, wanna, I want that picture to stick in your mind. When we see this symbol, we might as well think of it as being like the middle part of this balance because it's saying this side and this side are exactly the same as each other. Right? They're just as heavy. So if we start doing things like take one from this side without taking one from this side, what do we do to the equation? Is it not equal? It makes it false. And once we mess with that equation, we make it false, we'll never know what x equals. Right? Because whatever we find out what x equals, it will not be true. Because it doesn't matter, right? What's that? Because it doesn't matter, right? What do you mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter what x is once we figure it out. It doesn't matter what x is once we figure it out. I still don't know what you mean by that. Like, figure the problem out. Oh, it does, yeah, if we make an error like that, at the end it says x is something, it doesn't matter what it says because we know it can be wrong. Oh, all right, yeah. Right? yeah. Because I've, I've done, I've taken one off of one side, but not off the other. Uh, all right, so let's represent this. What, what uh, who did this? Ethan? Did you do this? Yeah. Figure out how much this was worth? Yeah. Yeah, so what Ethan did in real life, we're going to do with math symbols. So how would we do with math symbols what Ethan did in real life with the scale? How would I get x? You know, he, his goal was to get this by itself on one side. And on the other side, it would just be how what x is. Yes? Um, on both sides, the equal sign mm -hmm. would be minus 4, which will cancel out 4. The 
four and the minus four cancel each other out. And then um, x will equal four minus seven. Seven minus seven four. Minus four. Seven minus four. It will equal seven minus four, which is three. You notice I use a little arrow here. That's an actual symbol that means I've done the next thing, go this way. Okay, so you can do that, you can do the arrow, but an equal sign doesn't mean this is the next step. It means both sides are equal. So Daniela subtracted four from both sides. Ethan, why is she subtracting four from both sides and not just one side? Because and because if you subtract four from one side, then the balance would be equal. Right. It would not be balanced anymore. No, it would not be equal anymore. Okay. This x plus four equals seven. That's the situation that we started with. It is balanced, and everything we do after that needs to keep it balanced. Okay. Which is simple to do when you have scales, and you can see that one side is heavier. But with symbols, that doesn't happen. You don't see that one side gets weighed down and the other goes up, right? That would be kind of nice if it did. It doesn't happen. So we need to make these moves in, uh, in these equations in a way that we, if we did do it to a scale, we wouldn't throw it off balance. Okay? Equal sign does not mean this is the next step. It means both sides are equal. And we want to do the same thing to both sides so that both sides stay equal for the whole duration of whatever we're doing. Okay. Let's try another situation. You guys are doing great. Thank you. Uh, so I'm just going to clear all the sides. Start over. Okay, let's say we have. Then we have one container, we have two containers, we have three containers. Whoa. On this side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's say we have twelve on this side. I want you to tell me exactly what you would do with this scale. Don't tell me how much one thing is worth. Tell me what you would do to the scale to get one container by itself, while on the other side you leave the number that one container must be equal to. Yes? You would take off a container and then take off um, some of the little circles until it's equal with the two containers, <coughs> okay. and then take off another container. All right, all right, all right. So that would, if you had scales, you would do that, right? We're trying to transition into the situation where we have an equation where the equation doesn't tell us if it's off balance. We have to make sure that it stays balanced. Um, would be x cubed equals 12. But are we, is the, the weight over here uh, equal to this container times this container times this container? No. It would be x plus x plus x <coughs> equals 12. How do we represent x plus x plus x? This kind of situation is a little easier, I think, to see when we use symbols than it is when we're looking at the scale. Because when you look at the scale, you think still taking things away, taking away, subtracting. Okay? But what I really want to be able to see is what one third of this side is and what one third of this side is. Like if you came along here, you say, I only want to be, I'm only concerned with one of these. One of the three of these things. One third of this side. Right? So we slash this side by three. We look at one third of it. So when we take those away, we're not taking two x's away. We're looking at one third of what that side is. See the difference? 
And so we're going to look at one third of this. Well, we can count these up. We know this is 12, right? So what's one third of 12? Four. So I'm just going to look at one third of this side. One of, one, if these two sides are equal, then one third of this side must be equal to one third of this side. So, in symbols, that's what we would do. We divide this by three, look at one third of this side versus one third of this side. We're still in class. Getting ready to go yet. So, one third of three x's is how many x's? Four x's. No, one x. One x. A third of three things is one of those things. One x equals a third of 12 is? Four. Four. You see there on the scale, we're looking at a third of a thing versus a third of a thing. And it's important that they were equal to each other to begin with. Question? So that means that in each container there's four chips? There's three chips. No, there's three chips. Well, I guess oh, if you were yeah, yeah. one, there would be three inside yeah. one would be the container. Hold off. Resist the urge to zip up. run through this quickly. If I told you that x plus 3.2 equals 7.8, now this would be a hard thing for me to do here, the scale, right? Which is why we quickly want to move away from the scale. It's a nice, like, I thank you scale for helping us understand that an equal sign means both sides are the same as each other and that we need to do equal operations on both sides, otherwise we'll throw it off. But we quickly move to symbols because it's hard to represent that way. Uh, you would take 7.8 minus 3.2 and x minus 3.2. x plus 3.2 minus 3.2, yes. Yeah. And minus 3.2 on this side, x is equal to 4.6. Here is there one thing that I want you to do over the weekend in this class. 2x plus 7 equals 5. But I want you to pay close attention to what I'm about to say. If you just plug numbers in there until this side comes out to be 35, okay, that is not a viable option long term. Long term, that will not work. If you just look at it and you say, oh, that must be whatever. That is not something you can always do. For instance, Now it becomes a whole lot harder to just plug a number in there for x. Okay? Especially, what if that number is a decimal? How would you ever guess that, that number was a decimal? Because you'd have to square it, you'd have to multiply it by 3, you'd have to combine it all together, and hopefully you come out with 0. And it turns out this equation has two numbers, two different numbers that will work as x. Okay? So you would have to guess what they are negative 2 and negative 1. I wrote the equation, so I know what the solutions are. But the problem with guessing and checking is that long term, it just doesn't work out. I could even write an equation that's, that doesn't have squares in it. It's just more difficult to guess than it would be to learn algebraic approaches. Okay? Do the same thing to both sides until x is left by itself. Okay? Have a good weekend.